Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for mid-July. This is for the 16th through the 22nd, but you know the timing is, is fluid, so whenever it resonates for you. Um, this is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these and one of these. If it flips out while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now. Typically, my readings are love readings. We're going to see whatever comes up. Uh, a couple of them have turned out to be other than love, so we'll just see what happens. Um, if you'd like to have a private reading, the information is in the description box below. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You guys may be seeing the light in a situation, as you notice the light shining through. Every single word that comes out of my mouth is a message. Every single thing that you see is a message, okay? You gotta be open, that's called perspective, okay? Believing. Looking be beyond the surface. Those fell out, so we gotta take them. But sometimes you guys lose faith, right? And you don't listen to your inner guide. You gotta remember that your inner guide is speaking to you, all right? Um, some people that are watching this don't believe. And if you don't believe, then how can things really manifest? Are you just waiting? I mean, there's a, last, there's a lack of faith here. There's a lack of faith in yourself. So this right here, the Four of Swords, is coming out of a period of rest becoming alive again but not listening to your inner guide mm -hmm. this right here is wish fulfillment it's also healing so we'll see we're gonna keep going we're gonna get a bunch more cards conflicts we got some conflicts here head conflicts in your head your inner guide is saying one thing. It's trying to protect you, and you're ignoring it. Interesting. Yeah. So right now, your intuition, your inner guide is, is giving you messages. It's trying to protect you from something that could hurt you. And you're not listening. You need to take a time out. You need to step back and become aware. You need to listen. This is go within. Time out, time out, step back and go within. Are you listening? Listen, listen, listen. Your inner guide or guidance from above is trying to give you a message right now, Capricorn. Take a moment to step back and become aware. Okay, awareness is needed at this time. Whew. Karma. Interesting karma, huh? For you, Capricorn. We're dealing with, you could be dealing with a, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Virgo. We have Taurus. We have Aquarius. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Scorpio. So we have all kinds of people here so far, or energies, okay? I feel as though, you know, there's a, there's a wake-up call. Again, we have awareness. Wake up. Wake up. Somebody could be being dishonest with you you could be dealing with a fire sign or anybody anybody who is conceited and doesn't have your best interest at heart somebody could be lying to you they have low self-confidence low self-esteem so they're trying to bamboozle you just keep that in mind oh yeah, some, you're dealing with somebody who is an energy thief and is not trustworthy. And I think you know who this person is, but you're turning a blind eye to it. You don't want to believe it. Maybe you love this person or you did love this person and you don't want to believe the truth. And the truth is coming to you. 
the truth is coming to you. So somebody's in denial. Their gut, their intuition, their their first instinct thought is saying, you know, this isn't right. This isn't right. I know it's not right. But my heart wants it to be right, so I'm going to ignore this truth, even though I really do know the truth. Son of a gun. What the hell is this? We're going to zoom this in, and I could go ahead and close that shade, which I will, I suppose. You know, the universe wants light to be shed, but I'm going to do what you guys did and close the shade, all right, because let's not see the light here. We're going to just, you know, we want, we want to cover that light up. So, hmm, somebody sees the truth but refusing to accept the truth. I mean, that's what the card is. Emotionally guarded from the truth. Information overload, emotional turmoil, dealing with somebody who is, is totally sucking you dry. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, and it's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to accept this truth. This judgment card is labeled, is labeled truth in some decks. Okay? Yeah, it's time for you to accept the truth even if it hurts. You're dealing with somebody who is a big talker. They can talk the good talk, but they have no follow through and they are completely dishonest. And you know who this is and you know what the lie is. You know they're dishonest, but you don't want to believe it because maybe you loved them at one time or you still do. Um, you have hope. Hope that this will change. Yeah, you do. I see the hope. Here's the hope. So other people, you know, you need to you need to go within. You need to go within. Maybe maybe you don't want to be lonely, and that's why you're staying in this situation. I feel like your your challenge. I mean, your challenge position is right here, which is the judgment. It's labeled karma in this deck. It's facing this truth. You got truth on both sides. Okay, somebody's definitely not telling the truth. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Okay, there's a lot of dishonesty here. And your challenge is accepting this truth and, and owning it, whether it hurts or not. You have to accept this truth. I believe that some truth is being revealed, and it probably hurts. It does. Um, perhaps somebody is, is going away, you know, and that's what hurts, because you have a fire sign that's going away. Perhaps, you know, and that's not what you want. I don't know what this is. There's some sort of denial, for sure. There's heartache here, denial over a, a broken heart. It's time to let this let this end. I mean, there's uh, you know whatever this is. It's time to heal from it. It's time to start the healing process. This needed to happen. Whatever this is, it needed to happen so that things could get better. And I know that's hard to hard to, sit to fathom, but this is a new opportunity. Okay, this is a new golden opportunity. So whatever this is in which you are ignoring, if you can accept it, if you can um, deal with it, okay, you need to deal with this. There's a new opportunity that's going to come out of this. You're going to be rewarded. So I feel like it feels like something ends and maybe you don't want it to end. Something hurts. Something hurts. And you don't want to own up to this. You don't want to believe it. That's what I see. You don't want to believe it. But it, whatever this is, is it brings in a, a new golden opportunity, a new uh, solid, stable gift. Now, this can even be a gift of money. This is something on a tangible level, not to change the subject. This is now right in the middle of the reading. This is going to give you something. Okay, there's some sort of reward that you are going to get via accepting the truth of a situation. And I know that's hard to understand, but that's, this is what this is. Um... You know, I think this is something that you saw coming. This this has been coming for a long time. 
it has, and now it's finally here. It's like you, you thought you were prepared for it. Something is happening that is going to hurt. And you thought that you were prepared for it. And maybe you are prepared for it, but you're not because there's over, there's overly emotional turmoil here. I feel like there's somebody in your life that is causing an, an emotion, an emotional, um, heartache of some sort that you, you knew it was going to happen. You just didn't want to believe it. What the hell is this? Yeah, it feels as though maybe you were in a relationship with this person or you, this is a family member. Could be a family member. Um, this is you. This is you taking on this energy of solid, stable, practical, responsible, hardworking, Somebody, maybe they, they're they jealous of you or... Because this is under attack. Very critical. This is under attack. Yeah, you haven't been listening to your inner guide. That's for darn sure. Your intuition has been totally ignored. You know that something isn't right and you've been ignoring it. You've been under attack by another person. I'm not sure. Somebody has been very critical. They've been misjudging you, making you walk on eggshells or something along those lines. And all you want is happiness. It's like you, all you want is this relationship. You want this family dynamic. But you're dealing with somebody that is not honest. They are untruthful. There's something going on behind the scenes here. Somebody has secrets. There's secrets and lies. That's what the moon card is. There's hidden forces here. You don't know the whole story. I feel like somebody is keeping something from you. You know that they're keeping something from you. But you're allowing it. You're not doing anything about it. But I, with that uh, judgment card, it feels like some truth is going to be revealed and it really, really hurts. And it may, you may, you may react defensively. You may put your guard right up and get defensive about it. Yeah, I think there's some ties that are being severed, whether you like it or not. There's hidden agendas here. You're dealing with somebody who has hidden agendas. They, they're they not honest. But they tell you that they are. They tell you that everything is good. I want this happy relationship. I want this happily ever after with you. But it's a lie. Oh my God. It, it is a lie. It's false. You're dealing with a liar, Capricorn. I'm sorry. Now, this reading will not resonate with everybody. If it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Okay, if this reading feels right, it's right. There's some sort of event, a faded event or happening that is going to cause a loss. Okay, it's going to cause a loss, a breakdown, upheaval in your life. This needs to happen so that you can be happy, so that you can... You won't have to prove yourself anymore once this happens. You know, you won't have to prove yourself because the truth is going to come out. It will be revealed and you will be off the hook. Yeah, somebody has been un not able to deal with the truth. You know, that I don't want to see, I don't want to hear the truth. I don't want to see the truth. I don't want to believe the truth. I just soon be trapped here in this mental conflict. Whew. Somebody has been afraid to speak up. Afraid to free themselves from a situation that wasn't real. She's not tightly bound. 
She can run even. Her, her feet aren't even bound. Her mouth isn't even covered. She's tied up there. She can scream. She must like staying in this position. He or she. Whoever this is, somebody likes being trapped in this position because it's comfortable, it's safe. Reluctant to move on. You may be reluctant, but if you do let go and you take this step, you will feel immediate relief because you guys are involved. Somebody is involved in a situation that is bound to fall apart. The truth is going to be revealed. There's secrets and lies here. There's absolutely no doubt about it. And it's caused a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of worry. And you saw this coming. You did. You knew this was going to happen. It's not like this was any secret, really, even though it was a secret. You, you saw this coming, but you wanted this happily ever after, right? Now, this is this could probably be for couples. For some of you, this could be for singles dating somebody, and then all of a sudden, the shit hits the fan. You know, I feel like uh, there is definitely some secrets. There's something going on behind the scenes, and it will probably come out with this Cancer New Moon, okay? Some sort of revelation is going to come about that causes a major upheaval in your life, you know, and it brings about some sort of sadness. It hurts. But in the long run, you will be rewarded with something stable and secure and solid. Okay? It needs to happen so this reward can come to you. You know, there's a completion here. There's a completion, a major completion that needs to happen so that you can be, be successful in the future. I mean... The world card is when there's a major new beginning. One phase of your life has ended. It's like you've learned something big. And this is a long-term phase. You are about to end one phase of your life. And a new one is about to begin that is, is very wonderful. It's going to be abundance. It's something that you have manifested. It's a new security. It's a new stability. It's a new whatever it is. This could be job-related. This could be partnership-related. This could be whatever there's there's one situation whether it's job partnership uh, home moving whatever one situation is ending in your life and a new one is beginning and this needs to happen because it's time this cycle this phase of your life is done it's over gone it has to do with a relationship could be a family dynamic Could, you know, I don't know what this is. I don't, and I, it's okay for me to say I don't know what this is because ev I'm reading for what thousands of people right now. Not everybody's living the same life. Okay. Somebody said to me one time, "How can you say you don't know what this is?" But I'm not God, and this isn't a private reading. This is for thousands of people. Not all of you are living the same life. This could dredge up, whatever this is, some childhood memories. Okay, this does have to do with family, and now I'm starting to get the goosebumps. I feel like something is going to happen that is going to bring you back to your childhood. It's going to bring you back to, to when you were younger, whatever this is. I feel as though, you know, there is some situation or somebody that has come to sweep you off, the, off your feet. And it's all fake. It's all lie. It's not true. And you may free yourself. Somebody is going to be freed from a deceptive situation because there's going to be a revelation of the truth that's going to come out and that you have been ignoring, whatever it is. Somebody has been ignoring the truth because they wanted this happily ever after. They wanted this this situation to work out. But I feel like some something is going to come out. It's going to hurt. and It's going to change your life. For the better. It's going to bring you in a better, solid, stable opportunity. It's going to free you from a false foundation. Because the tower is buried under here, wherever it is. It's going to free you. This is liberation, freedom from this. It is. But it is going to bring up memories. Okay? It's going to, it's going to bring up some memories that hurt. So I feel, Capricorn, that this is a week of dealing with some issues that you have been ignoring unfortunately is there new love coming in 
I don't think so. If so, it's fake, okay? Because this Knight of Cups reverse is somebody that comes to sweep you off your feet. Could be somebody you've known before. Could be somebody from your past with the Six of Cups that you have always, you know, wanted to be with, whatever. I don't know what this is. But, um, but it's not true. It's, uh... This guy has no follow-through. He's Prince Charming with, with no tact, okay? He, not only tact, he has no follow-through. He has no no means to follow through. He's all talk, okay? He comes to sweep you off your feet, and then he'll leave you high and dry in the desert, okay? So whoever this per, you know, he, he sold you whatever he had to sell you to get you to hop on the horse, gets what he wants, and then it's over, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um... When this ends, something is ending. Something is going to be revealed that causes a completion. It does. It causes a completion with the world, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. There's a major completion here that is allowing you to start a new beginning. You will feel relief. You've been reluctant to accept it for quite some time in the universe, which is... Okay, so we have the, the World card and the Tower card are both universal cards. Divinely guided life changes. You have been ignoring the truth with the high priestess and the high priest. Somebody's been ignoring the their inner guide, their gut, their intuition. And you can only do that for so long before the universe says, you know, I'm going to give you that kick in the ass to make you face the truth, okay? So this has been cooking for a while with that moon card. It's been going on behind the scenes. The universe has been waiting for the right time, and here it is. So you may want to let your friends help you. Maybe you go to some gathering. You know, I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure if somebody is going away. You know, I'm, you know, this could be somebody going out of your life and you go to a gathering. You know, and I'm not, for lack of a better word, you know what I mean? You figure that one out yourself. But this right here is let your friends help you. It's a time to celebrate. Look at it as a time to celebrate. This is a time to celebrate. Even if you went through some pain to get to this celebration. Because you have a new solid opportunity coming in after the death of this situation that you've been not wanting to see coming. So I feel like Capricorn, this is a heavy reading and I do apologize, but somebody has been ignoring the truth of a situation, the truth that is within them. And now the universe is here to rip that truth right out of you so that you can find something better. Listen, listen, you have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Have you been listening? Only to, even to yourself, your inner guide. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said to boot. To, but to what lies, and see the word lies beneath the words, you have been lied to. I know it, and you know it. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. The truth is about to be come out, whether it's you or the other person. It feels like the shit is going to hit the fan. Don't be scared. It brings you something solid and stable and much better. From Archangel Michael, your home is protected by angels. Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants. I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door, ensuring its security. Thank you for guiding my finances so that I can easily afford to pay my rent, mortgage, or taxes. You are going to receive some sort of reward. And this could be in the form of money, could be a new partner, could be a new home, could be a new relationship, whatever. It's going to happen. 
whether it's this week that you receive the reward, reward, maybe all this came out before. Maybe this is in the past and you get your reward this week. You know, we're all at different stages. For some of you, the shit's going to hit the fan this week and your, your reward will come a month later or a year later, whatever. Either way, big changes are on the horizon, Capricorn, and they're for your highest good. Talk to you later.